Welcome back to Halftime Report. Joining us on the show now is Mr. Anas Ramaswamy from Ventura Securities. And we'll talk about metals where we are headed for a weekly gain for this one. Mr. Ramaswamy, hi. Let's start with uh, the precious metals first because when you look at this week, gold is up half a percent and silver clearly outperforming with two and a half percent of gains. The decline in US dollar clearly is uh, one theme which seems to be really joining across. How are you looking at precious metals as a space and what, what price views or uh, forward-looking ranges are you looking at? Uh, gold, uh, Manisha, we will be, we'll be looking for a mild bullish view. Uh, we are intact with that uh, view on gold, uh, okay. especially. Hmm. Uh, quoting at around 1758 uh, range on the COMEX levels, uh, it, uh, the contract of the December was had made a high of 1777 or close to 53200 in the MCX counter. So from 50 to 600 range, we are expecting a jump of around $20, which uh, translates into around 600 rupees on the INR front. Uh, basically, it was not; uh, it was a subdued market volatility previous day because of no economic data. Thanksgiving holiday wasn't that was there, uh, but the dollar bearishness is actually giving a great advantage to gold, and it should advance beyond 1777 to levels of 1786 or 1800, 1830. Those levels, the further rally is expected only if you see a great dollar index breaking the 104.50 support level, which is seemingly possible because of the confidence in the basket of currencies uh, as against the USD, whether, whether it is euro, pound or franc, which is showing some confidence. So dollar is weakening. And also the bond yield, uh, if it were to break those support levels of 3.5, currently the 10-year bond is around close to 3.66. So it's basically a perfect orchestra between happening to gold versus dollar and bond yield. Fair point. While the buying in gold is what you're recommending, would you say the same for silver? Because we've seen an outperformance not just for this week, but for this month until now for silver at $21 per ounce. Where are your next targets for this one? Uh, I would I would uh, be on a cautious bullish approach as regards uh, silver because it has got the pressure building up on the industrial metal uh, fundamentals, which is impacting. So, uh, although on the bullion pack, gold is a uh, buy, but uh, silver is a cautious bullish view. Uh, so, from levels of uh, the December quoting at around 61,700, it would be meaningful to track uh, the March counter, which is uh, 63,100. So, on the comics front, 21.44, should uh, we should inch back to close to 23.50, we are expecting. On the short-term basis, uh, 63,100 uh, should be close to around 65, 66,000 levels. So we are mild, cautiously bullish on that. First, a high has to be made 64,500 for the March contract. Uh, once it breaks that, uh, that path should rise. Clearly. Uh, you know, for the base metal prices also, the weakness in US dollar has been supportive. Clearly, the kind of economic data that we've seen from China or European Union is not so supportive. But the fact that China is announcing stimulus, especially in the real estate infrastructure projects, etc. Do you see that as a supportive factor? Uh, I see that as a supportive factor, but uh, the way the domestic demand hasn't picked mm -hmm. up in China, uh, although they talk about this increased COVID case, 31,000, but, but actually those are all media reports, which is talking of only asymptomatic is around uh, 27,000. So it is, it is that bullishness is intact a little bit, but this, uh, the, the, sphere, the, the, the news has to unfold a bit. So the current short-term view on copper on the industrial metal, base metal side is a bit of bearishness. Mm. Uh, it can come down, a profit booking should happen. It should come back to those levels of close to 6700 or uh, and odd uh, in LME and uh, maybe 630, 640 levels uh, in the MCX counter. All okay. right. Okay, Mr. Ramaswamy, Manisha, thank you so much for joining us and taking us through those trades or the outlook as far as precious metals are concerned. Uh, that's all about commodities. For the markets, we've seen a sharper recovery. So, of course, we'll continue that conversation. And it's a wrap on this edition of Halftime Report. Business Lunch will take all the action ahead. Stay tuned.